This is how aspirin prevents heart attacks and reduces the symptoms of inflammations. Are you aware about the symptoms of having a heart attack? The main symptom is often a squeezing, tight sensation in the middle of the chest. This can travel up to the jaw and shoulders and even travel down the left arm. Along with the pain, you may begin to sweat and feel weak, like you might pass out. This is often coupled with shortness of breath. If you sense a heart attack, you should take an aspirin. It is well established that this step can keep an impending heart attack from occurring. So, how aspirin works on our body? When you swallow an aspirin, it goes through your digestive system. Passing through esophagus, it arrives inside the stomach, where it gets dissolved into smaller particles. These small particles are then absorbed inside intestine. Intestine wall is covered with tiny villi, which are finger-like structures, and are responsible for providing a large surface area for absorption. These villi are having rich blood supply, covered in a thin layer of epithelial cells. Absorbed aspirin crosses these epithelial cells and enters into the bloodstream. Blood plasma contains complex protein molecules, like albumin, which binds to some amount of aspirin. Next destination is the liver. Albumin-bound aspirin molecules are filtered out as they pass through the liver. Some amount of aspirin is hydrolyzed and broken into ethanoic acid and salicylic acid. Salicylic acid isn't water-soluble and cannot be excreted in urine. Subsequently, the salicylic acid is ionized to form glucuronide. This water-soluble compound is excreted in the urine. Only 68% of the total aspirin consumed orally is passes through the liver and distributed all over the body. For 100% bioavailability, aspirin is to be administered by other methods, like intravenous way. Platelets are cell fragments in our bloodstream that is often responsible to produce a sticky substance, so that, when you get a cut, they stick together, or form a clot. This clotting action takes place when the sticky substances, produced by platelets, form a kind of mesh, or a barrier, to prevent blood flow. Platelets act like a dam, across the place you're injured, to stop the blood loss. Unfortunately, sometimes, clots can form inside your blood vessels too. This kind of clotting action may happen, because your platelets tend to stick to other artery-blocking substances, restricting blood flow. Aspirin works on platelets by disrupting their clotting action. Since blood clots can block the arteries that supply blood to your heart, the anti-clotting action of aspirin ensures blood can flow more easily, while you seek further medical help to take care of the blockage. Maintaining blood flow is important and so, sometimes doctors recommend an aspirin regimen for heart attack survivors in order to prevent another heart attack from happening. Aspirin is also useful to subside inflammations caused by tissue damage. Damaged tissues produce prostaglandins, causing inflammations and passing on the sense of pain through the nerves. Aspirin prevents production of prostaglandins and reduces the symptoms of pain and swelling. Remember, aspirin is not appropriate for everyone, so be sure to consult your doctor before you begin an aspirin regimen.